Let's talk today about how easy it is to run a small private TabShop server in order to synchronize between multiple TabShop devices. So the new the newly uh, published TabShop server is capable of uh, managing all your stock, your stock quantities, your taxes and to see all your checked out invoices at the central place. So how do you install a TabShop server? The TabShop server itself is running in a Docker container. So the most simplistic way of running it is, as I'm show showing here today, uh, on a Synology disk station uh, device that is containing all your backups um, and files. So let's see how you install that. First of all, you have to install Docker as a package uh, within the package center of your Synology drive. Once you have installed Docker, you see that here, you can open Docker and you navigate to the Docker registry. So the Docker registry searches all the Docker Hub um, containers that are available and here we will search for the TabShop server component. As you can see here, my TabShop server component is hosted at Docker Hub. So let's download that container onto the local Synology disk station. So it takes a couple of seconds. And luckily, the TabShop server is really small. So the footprint here is really just 18 megabytes compared to all the other Docker containers. That's amazingly small. The TabShop server is written in, in Golang, so that's uh, that makes it possible that uh, this server has that small footprint. So what we now have to do is to start um, the Docker container and that we will do by double clicking. Uh, but before we can start the TabShop server, we have to give the server um, a mapped volume uh, that contains a very simple configuration file. Let's see that here. So let's add a folder here um, and I choose on the local Synology drive, I choose my TabShop uh, folder where you can see that I created an uploads uh, folder for the uploaded uh, invoices, PDF documents and where the YAML configuration file is uh, located. Let's select that um, folder and we have to map it to um, tab shop folder and if you would like to choose um, the port uh, you can do that here so we map the port to a local port on the disk station and we see that here let's apply that and we are ready to run that's all that is necessary to run your own TabShop server you see that here the TabShop server is running on that selected port but now let's see if we navigate to the IP address of the Synology drive how that looks like and we see the um, login and the, the, the username and password which is admin admin in this case as it is the default and you see um, the database is already filled we have some products in there um, we can define the taxes the discounts and we see the incoming uh, invoices along with the PDFs that are uploaded from the individual tab shop Android devices. So that is all um, that is necessary to run your own private tab shop server. And um, this is perfectly um, capable of syncing all your tab shop Android point of sales devices in order to sync and to upload and save all the invoices 
on a central place and of course also to manage the stock quantities that are adapted once you're starting to check out um, invoices. That's all from my side and have fun with the newly published TabShop server. Thank you and goodbye.